In the previous two videos we looked at tool parameters and how to establish our tool library. Now once we've gotten our tool library set, the next step is to go into outfits parameters and tell the machine what tool is in what position on the machine. And when we open the, uh, the program, we have a similar uh, look as we did in tool parameters with the various types of tools on the left. But here on the right we have an overhead view of the, of the machine. Um, we also have some zoom controls that we can zoom in on certain parts of the machine. Um, let's zoom in on the main section of the machine. And, and this area we have the boring head. You can see the positions um, 1 through 12, uh, 61, 62, and 71 are the horizontal drills. Uh, this tool 161 is the saw that's the integrated saw on the boring head. And then these positions 301 through 310 are the tool changer. So these hold our routing tools. So um, to be able to zoom in further, we can we have a couple of ways. We can click and drag the mouse to zoom in and out. Uh, we can draw a window around a certain area to zoom in. And we can zoom back, zoom all to the entire, entire machine. Uh, but let's zoom in on, concentrate on the boring head for a moment. And let's say we want to, um, to add some drills to the setup. If you, see, um, if you can see here, position number 7 is empty. So if we wanted to put a drill there, then we go over here to our drills, we expand them, we'll go to the drills that work on face 1, and we'll go in and we'll add this vertical 3 millimeter drill. To move it in, we just simply click, left click and drag, and you see that uh, we have a cross on a position where we can't add it. For example, if I try to put the drill on the saw, it won't let me do it. If I put, try to put this drill inside the, the router spindle, it can't do that. So when I come over here to spot 7, then that's, a, that's an available space, so it'll let me do that. And, and incidentally, we could also take that same drill and drop it over the top of an existing tool. So be careful if that's not what you want. It'll let you drop it on, and replace that drill in the parameters. So that's how we add a drill. If we want to remove a drill, then we just uh, come over, hover over that drill. And when you hover over it, you can see its, its, major, its major parameters, basically the, um, you know, the diameter of the drill. But if we right click uh, on top of the drill, then we've got three options. One is that we can display the tool. We can see its parameters that we established over in tool parameters. We can't change the parameters here. We can just view them. And we can get closed to go back. We can right click again. Um, we can, if we want to remove the tool, we just click remove and it, it takes it back out. Um, the other option, if we right click on one of these other tools, is to localize the tool. That means to find it over in the list on the left. And when we do that, you can see it jump to that tool. If I went over here and I right clicked on one of the uh, horizontal drills and clicked localize, then it actually expands the blind drills and goes right to that tool over here in the list and lets me find that tool in the library um, here in Outfits. So here you can, you can add tools by just clicking and dragging them to the spot you want them to be on. And we can remove tools and just, and again, we can see their parameters, but we can't change them. Uh, router bits work much the same way. If you hover over a tool, then you can see it's, um, its description and its tool number. If you notice its tool number from tool parameters, in this case, is 1505. Its tool position on the magazine is 304. And there's no correlation between those two numbers. You don't have to um, try to make your tool number from tool parameters be similar or match the, um, the tool position. Uh, there, there's no correlation. So the beauty of this system is that you can take a tool number or tool from the library and put it in any position and your program that you've written previously will still run. You don't have to go and edit the program if you move the tool to a different spot on the tool magazine. But like drills, if we want to remove a tool, we just right click, we remove it. Um, if we want to add a different tool in that spot, we come over to routers, uh, go into face one or face uh, rotating routers, which are, would be aggregates. Go to any of these tools and drag them and drop them and it'll it changes to a plus sign if it's if you're dropping this on an available a possible spot again I can't put a router bit in the drill head so it won't let me do that so I can drag and drop that tool here and again we have the same 
um, we have the same feature with saws. And going to the saws, you can see that um, uh, any of the tools that are highlighted in red are already used, so we can't use them again. Um, for example, with routers, we can we can only use a router in one position. If we need a similar tool or tool with the same dimensions, we have to create a separate tool with a separate number. Uh, it's not the same with drills. With drills, it's likely that you're going to have more than one of the same drill. So I can take the same tool and put it in multiple positions. Um, unlike routers where I can only use a router once. So again, you've got some zoom commands here at the top of the screen. You've even got a pan that you can pan around and get to different areas. And go back to the zoom, zoom all like so.